welcome back to Lavi Del C. If you are new to my channel, I give you a huge warm hug and I welcome you. Um, today, I, I am releasing a video that is not easy for me to release because it's a re it's a video of um conviction and correction and um it's not something that i really wanted to release but you know um like uh jeremiah said and um somewhere in in the book of jeremiah it says that the word of god is like fire in our bones it's something that i've received like confirmation on top of confirmation after i receive the word from god that i need to release it so i'm going to release it whether it feels good to me or it's gonna feel good to those who are listening to it or not because right now it is more important to me to obey the voice of god than to be afraid of what the outcome of me sharing it will be so um i don't know what i'm going to record to name this video yet i will figure it out um at the end but basically what has been on my spirit to um share with you guys is that god has placed this burden on my heart um and has about or i should say about um those who are in his kingdom whether in a position of leadership or you're simply a child of God, you're a son, you're a daughter of God, you believe him, you trust him, you serve him, you honor him, you glorify him, you praise him, you pray to him. Um, and God was just ministering to me concerning his children um, still indulging in secular music yeah and this is why i did not want to share it because i was like how can i start telling people you cannot listen to secular music like god how do i deliver this to your people because i'm not trying to be that person who's telling you here's what you can do here's what you can't do here's what is right here's what's wrong no but god has shown it to me and he has spoken into my ears over and over again that my people are indulging. They are loving secular music and only running to gospel music, only running to music that glorifies me when they're scared, when they're being attacked, when something wrong is going in their lives. But aside from that, they basically worship secular music they worship the songs that don't even align with me songs that don't glorify me songs that are glorifying the things of the world and glorifying things that are vanity so i personally i haven't um i made the decision to stop um taking pleasure i guess you could say in secular music since after my encounter which was october 2018 and since that time i have worked on myself to disassociate myself with it that was my personal decision and i never tried to impose that on any like on my friends on the people around i never tried to impose it on anybody and since that time till now i have actually reached a place where um i don't consume it by my own choice or intentionally and what i mean by that is if i'm in a car and somebody is is playing secular music i can't tell you to not play your secular music if i'm passing through a restaurant i can't tell if i'm going in the mall and they're playing i can't you know but me personally what i allow my what i open my ears to i don't open my ears to and i don't subject my spirit to indulge in and or to consume secular music i never um ask anyone that oh you know because i'm i'm living this lifestyle now you should do it too no i never tried to impose it but i don't believe that it is strange that god wants to talk to me about it now he showed it to me 
in a vision he spoke to me about it and i will not hold on to it even if it may um if it may make somebody mad because the point is for it to pull somebody out of it god wants to pull his children out of that consumption of secular music and you know um when when i was when god was showing me this god sh was showing me this through um the image of one of the artists that i used to love most back in the days and it was riri okay it was rihanna rihanna um god 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 forbid is one of is the one of the artists that i admired the most i was in love with her um when i didn't know the what the words of my mouth meant when i was not um clear on what my my identity and image was in god i used to even say that if i was to become a bisexual person it would be for rihanna that's how bad it was like this was the person that was filled on my walls and god was speaking to me through the lens and was showing me this image by showing her to me and and as the holy spirit began to explain it to me and break it down because i was like listen god I have not listened to secular music in like you know at least two years now so like i haven't made it my decision to do this so like what and the holy spirit is just ministering to me that there are people who have idolized certain artists they have idolized music in the world because that's what i was doing back then is i idolized this person i couldn't be detached and disconnected to them i became addicted to their con to her to her content and god is saying that there's some of you out there who are literally addicted to content coming from a specific artist in the world and because of that you're choosing to stay attached because of that you are ignoring convictions of the holy spirit the holy spirit is convicting people telling you no don't listen to this no this is not right when you're listening to that music there are ideas coming into your head those music bring emotions with them those music have spirits that are evil behind them spirits that are not of god there is an owner behind everything and the owners of those 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 music of those sounds that you constantly subject your ears to listen to you're opening the door for them to enter every time you allow yourself to listen and again and again and again and you you get convicted and then you tell yourself you know what it's okay and you're praising and you're worshiping and you're now worshiping god and then you're also worshiping Shipping that spirit behind that music and now you have an idol in your life so now god is looking at you as a harlot because you're not just you're not faithful to him you're also faithful to the things that are outside and then when that harlot treats you badly then you run to god because the moment that you start to get attacked the moment that your mind starts to wage war on you the moment that everything starts to crumble then you you spend a season of just listening to worship music and then once that season is over you run back to the secular music you are literally ch cheating on god using god as if he was your side man your side chick or if you if you want to if you want to put it that way and i just honestly just feel the heart of god um not just an anger but also compassion because he doesn't want you to be going through what you're going through there's there's things that we allow in our minds there's things that we're going through in our lives it's literally because we consume so much secular music that are talking about things that has nothing to do with your purpose you can't get vision about your purpose you can't get vision about your life you can't get vision about where god wants to take you your mind is not clear on what god wants to do with you in this season because your mind is filled with negative lyrics that are filled with the filth of the world that 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 is that is the point that it can get to your mind becomes so even to this point me myself who has disconnected myself for a long time from secular music it just because just be just because i've disconnected myself to it doesn't mean sometimes when i hear a song that i don't start you know speaking and singing along with the lyrics but 
every time I find myself in that state of trying to open my mouth to start going through the lyrics and then I get to the lyric that is negative that my mouth just uh, you can't say that then I remind myself no Elsie this is wrong territory this is not the territory for you to be roaming on then I back myself up and I start playing a worship song in my mind I have to train myself every day in order to stay on the path that is holy for my mind that 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 makes my mind an atmosphere for the holy spirit of god to communicate with me every minute every second every day every hour whenever he wants to because if the wrong things are playing in your mind listen the holy spirit don't even you don't even make space for him to enter you don't make space for him to communicate with you and then we get confused about our purpose and then we get confused and then we feel like god is away from us and and god abandoned me and god doesn't care about me anymore i'm not hearing god anymore but it's because you've allowed too much to fill your mind that is not of god and i'm i'm this is my proposition okay um because we can't keep serving god and serving another thing we can't serve God and serve the artists of the world at the same time. We can't serve God and serve the music of the world at the same time. You know what? When God was pulling this on me, you know, the, th the thing that came to my mind was, God, but what about my wedding day, you know? What about my wedding day, God? I want to get lit, 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 you know? I want to get hype. Like, Jesus, am I going to be able to, you know? But listen, God doesn't want to withhold happiness and joy and like and 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 in a good time from you but he wants to know that you're loyal to him when the time comes for us to listen to certain music then we'll listen to certain music if you're not married right now you're in you're not in a relationship why are you listening to music that has to do with sex and that has to do with how he loves me how he will he he wants to touch me and how this every day why and i'm telling you this because this used to be my life okay this used to be me listening to the wrong things and the wrong seasons and some things that i was listening to there's no season that that's right for me to listen to it it doesn't mesh with with the image of god that he has in you um so what i am proposing to you guys um is if you are somebody who actually do consume secular music whether you do it a lot or you do it once in a while or you do it like it's a part of your life i am proposing to you to do a fast okay a fast i am not this whatever is gonna whatever god is gonna work in you he's gonna work it in you i am delivering my message to you and whatever wherever you go now from with god is depending on you and god if you don't choose to do anything, then you don't choose to do anything. But I am delivering my message because I don't want my bones to be burning with fire. Okay. Um, anyways, my proposal is that you do a fast. Choose between one month to three months to do a fast from secular music. If you are somebody who does indulge in or consume secular music on a regular basis or every once in a while. If you do it every once in a while then give yourself a longer challenge if you are do, do do if you you know consume it a lot give yourself a longer challenge too okay give yourself a one month or to, but choose between one month to three months and tell yourself i will not i am making decision between this date and that to that day i will not listen to any secular music and if you do if you do choose or decide to do this send in the comments and let me know that you're you've chosen this challenge you you've taken up this challenge that you're going to do it and that you you're you're looking forward to see what it will do in your life but i i elsie jean baptiste okay in the name of jesus i guarantee you you will recognize a difference in your spiritual life you will recognize the difference in the way you think you will recognize a difference in the way you act and react to things you will recognize a difference in your ability to sit down and communicate with god when you choose to do so you will recognize a huge difference and if you find that 
during the time that you've chosen and taken to do this fast from secular music that your body is craving for it your ears is craving for it like like oh my gosh no this is too hard i need to listen to so then this is a sign that this thing has really become an addiction it has passed you just doing it it has become an addiction and the music the artists and that spirit has become an idol then this is the part where you need to go to god you need to go to god and you need to ask the holy spirit help me to be disconnected from it help me to disconnect myself from this addiction of an aspect of the world you need to go to god and ask ask him for help and repent for all the time that you were spending with in secular music and ask him for help to 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 help you disassociate from it because he's more than ready to help you become the image of who he of, of what he wants you to be so this is the challenge i propose to you guys if you will be doing it um you know maybe comment under my youtube video i think i might also post this on instagram comment and let me know that you are taking this challenge up and if you feel comfortable to message me you can message me to ask me any other questions regarding um how i got myself disconnected from it or whatever other questions that you may you guys may find that you have and i would be happy to help and remember that the Holy Spirit is your number one support. He is there for you. He is there to help you become better every day. So I love you guys. And I know that this is coming from the heart of God because he loves you. And because he wants to bring you to a better place. And because he wants to communicate with you at a greater level. So um, I will catch you guys in my next video. Um, and until next time, I know this video was pretty long but um i had to say what i had to say and i love you guys and don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow my youtube channel if you haven't done so don't forget to comment and like the video if you found that you liked it okay whether it felt good or not like it and then share the video because sharing is caring <laughs>